Welcome to the 2024 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday, January 17, 2024 edition. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button to get the latest interpretation of financial news as it becomes available. We're not financial planners, but we do consider ourselves preppers for the future. So right now we're going to be talking about the economists worry that weak economic growth in Europe and also in the United States is going to be slowing down as we get into later in this first quarter of 2024, as well as Argentina. Their inflation level is surging, incredibly surging high. They're facing the same fate as many other economies as you know in the past such as greece turkey um sri lanka so many other countries around the world that have suffered hyperinflation and at the collapse of the currency due to the collapse of the currency in the economy and credit card delinquencies continue lastly to rise in america and europe and elsewhere as well as people struggle to cope with the higher prices for goods and services and even some government struggle to cope with the higher prices of goods and services in this time that we're in right now so right now we get right to it ladies and gentlemen we have marketwatch.com with this article a couple days ago saying three quarters of the chief economists expect weak or very weak growth in europe this year and so what many people don't understand is that many of these factories yes they have robots and ai and automation that's coming a technocratic economy is here yay even here in america but with this the, this difference is with this depression as far as the depression that we had in 1929 is this going to be a global depression meaning none of the countries can borrow from each other um it's going to be a liquidity crisis and this all this combining together is going to make a perfect storm um and so with that we're going to be considering weak growth in europe uh the eu the european central bank has been raising rates in conjunction with the federal reserve bank here in the united states as well as other economies that are raising rates to try to stem the tide of not just inflation but of a devaluing of the currency that's the biggest thing um that's happening you may have paper or or cash but that value of the cash is eroding every single day it's in a savings account or high yield saving account or a money market or a cd or you know whatever type of vehicle stocks the value of that currency is eroding every single day now that it's not backed by gold it's backed by fiat ladies and gentlemen fiat currencies mean by decree um, of the government so it's not backed by anything now it's just backed by you know the decree once people lose confidence in that that source of uh you know the, the united states can, or any country europe can pay back their debts that's when things start the spiral downhill for the currency and yay for what you see in main street happening so for the u.s 56 56 percent of economists expected moderate to strong growth that's down from 78 percent in the poll back in september 2023 77 percent expected weak to very weak group in europe growth in europe that's nearly double the number in september so as you can see there is definitely going to be a slowdown happening here and that's going to be taking place very very soon as we get into this deeper and deeper into this economic collapse now argentina nbcnews.com a few days ago president javier Milei, who has been in office for just over a month he's now gonna have to deal with a argentinian recession yay even depression argentina's inflation surges past 200 percent hitting highest level in decades not weeks or months but decades ladies and gentlemen so this is the same fate that we're going to be heading towards soon it's just that we're going to be the last domino to fall here as we have the world's largest economy so look at these countries study what you can a woman here seen here paid in groceries at the grocery store in buenos aires argentina that's back on january 5th um with the argentinian peso i believe it is and this is what was going to be coming to here over in the western world europe and america um, some of these big G8 countries, Germany, you know, uh, some of these bigger, bigger economies, uh, Germany, France, England, the United States, Canada, are going to be some of the, lar- the largest and the longest to hold out as much as they can before the econ- before their, um, you know, the thing happens here, excuse me. But this is what's happening. So the monthly inflation rate also hit 25.5%. Um, slightly below forecast after a sharp devaluation, there it is right there, that word, devaluation of the peso currency last month after Malai's government took office on December 10th. So it's only been a month that he's been in office and he's struggling to get inflation under control. Um, this same thing happened to Venezuela, Argentina's neighbor, um, up north, where inflation cooled to an estimated 193%. Uh, following years of painful out of control price rises the difference between the north american economy here and these south american countries is that the inflation gets out of control price rises that continues to go up at a faster pace the inflation here in america and other countries is going at a slower pace but it's still rising so it's leading some people to get this false notion that oh you know uh we're going to get down to two percent the goal of the federal stated goal of the federal reserve bank and other things 
Um, and what happens then? What happens when we get to that 2%? Is the inflation going to go down? No. And that's going to be the problem. The money's going to be so devalued because of all the money printing. That's what happened in this country here in Argentina. That's what's going to continue to happen in other countries. So greed is still driving the U.S. market, according to CNN Business. We see that. There's greed um, taking over food prices, gas prices, housing prices. There's greed in that market. There's greed in all of the markets. It's not so much shortage. There is shortage going on, yes. But there's greed going on as well. So people are resorting to credit cards and family loans and other things and um, signature loans and other things lines of credit and other things to try to make up the difference um, because of this this price thing so cnnbusiness.com this is not me this is cnnbusiness.com saying credit card delinquencies surpass pre pandemic levels uh, we have seen that um, so credit card the balances are higher 3069 past 3060 90 days past due first people were saying on other financial channels that always oh, the repo man coming to repo these cars and all that kind of stuff but now they're saying there's not that it's the credit card delinquency that's going to get a lot of people because now that the interest rates are higher um, the average credit card interest rate is what you guys 28 percent um, APR variable rate up to some of them go up to 30 percent I think so uh, that's very high and if you have balances over two thousand dollars that can add up a lot a month that can add up a lot to your to monthly bill that you have to respond and play so um, the reason why is that America's economy is built off a credit system and when credit dries up ladies and gentlemen which it will people are saying that the limits are cut on some of the cards now uh, one guy told me he had a, a, a $4,000, 5000 limit that's been cut in half to 2500 So, um, you know, be on the mindful of that. Be watchful of that. The whole economy is built on um, the, build, the ability to lend money to uh, banks, to lend money to individuals, to corporate uh, businesses, to small businesses, et cetera, et cetera. But as the input costs are rising, meaning the cost to either hire employees at a higher uh, minimum salary or the cost of um, supplies rise, they're going to pass that cost on to guess who? You and I. So uh, definitely can watch your spending. I know it's hard to do um, in America and in Europe and other countries because of credit. And credit is going to be drying up here, not this year, but toward the later part of this year and next year as businesses tighten up as they realize that the input costs are going to be raising up as well. So just something to think about here as we continue to prepare. Um, my goal it's, you, well, actually, all of our goal is to be kind of self-sufficient, self-sustaining um, individual as best we can. Obviously, you know, we cannot be, but just basic things. Like if there's power outages that are going to be happening in America, brownouts for whatever reason, you want to have a solar generator or a generator, um, a solar generator preferably, that can handle a little something. Um, and you want to have backup food, water, medicine. You know, it's not going to be perfect. Obviously, you can't prepare for every situation, whether you're in the city or the rural area or somewhere in between, you're going to face challenges. And you're not, everyone's not going to be ready for everything. Obviously, these channels make it seem like everybody's, some of these prepper channels make it seem like everybody's going to be is Rambo and you know Lone Wolf and Lone Ranger it's not going to be like that so you know eventually even if you are a hunter um, out you know and about and you're hunting for your own food and you're growing your own garden eventually the soil is not going to yield as much food and the, the garden as it does and there's not going to be that many deer or whatever you eat and uh, berries to eat and, and hunting if we get into a SHTF situation for everybody to go around so uh, we have to deal realistically too when we're talking about these preppers. And that's what I try to do is deal with the realistic thing, um, nature of this. So try to cut back spending and try to definitely watch out for this inflation that's surging as well. Try to shop at farmers markets. Um, you know, if you have to go to Walmart, good, go there. I mean, I know that's one of the best, biggest places in town, and most of these towns. Um, art, you know, stuff like that, but try to go to farmers markets and other places, Dollar Street, Dollar General, to try to supplement what you have in terms of preps to kind of save some money on some of this stuff as the prices continue to rise. So I just wanted to give you that update today. God bless you. I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you for your um, subscription and your comments. I read them all. Talk to you very soon.